Hello students, welcome back. In this section, we are going to discuss about addition of two 32-bit hexadecimal numbers using 8086 microprocessor. You might have learned the concept in you might have learned the concept in theory classes also. Now we'll briefly see how to add two hexadecimal numbers, then how to program it, how to write the program, and then how to execute and see the output of 32-bit addition. Okay. For that, we need to learn first what is a decimal number, what is hexadecimal number equivalent. You can see here we have made we have made like decimal and then hexadecimal equivalent. So from 0 to 9. Even in the hexadecimal numbers, the same 0 to 9. After 9, it is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. In the case of decimal, in the hexadecimal, it is 10 is equivalent to A, 11 is equivalent to B, 12 is equivalent to C, 13 is equivalent to D, 14 is equivalent to E, 15 is equivalent to F. We'll use this and we'll add these two hexadecimal numbers. We have got two hexadecimal numbers, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then second one, C, D, E, F. A, B, 1, 2. We have to add these two hexadecimal numbers. We will see how to add this. So, 4 plus 2, it is 6. 3 plus 1 is 4. What is B? B is 11. 11 plus 2, it is 13. What is equivalent of 13? It is D. So, I have made as D. Then, A plus 1, what is A? It is 10. Plus 1, 11. What is the equivalent of 11? It is B. So, I have made B. So, this section is completed. Now, if there is any carry, I need to carry forward here. Since I don't have carry here, I will leave this. Then, I will go on to this one. So, what is 8 plus F? What is F value? It is 15, right? 15 plus 8. What is the value? You will get 23. Okay? 23, if you divide by 16, it will come 1, 7. So, 7. Okay? 1, 7, you will get so, you will make it 7 here. 1 will be carrying to the next level. Okay. So, 7 plus 1, 8. 8 plus E. What is E? 14. Correct. So, 14 plus 8. You will get 22. 14 plus 8. You will get 22. You need to divide this 22 by 16. So, you will get as 1, 6. So, okay. 6 you can put it here. And then put take, take, take 1 to the next level. Okay, what you will get? 6 plus 1, 7. 7 plus D. D is 13. So, 7 plus 13, what you will get? 20. Okay. 7 plus 3, 20. You will get 20. So, 7 plus 3, 30, 30, 20 you will get. In that 20, you divide by 16 and you will get as modulo. You will get, once you will get as 4 okay 4 and you can carry 1 to the next level so what is c here c is 12 12 plus 5 plus 1 right 12 plus 5 plus 1 you'll get 18 okay 18 if you do again you'll get 1 2 that is 2 you can put it here and then 1 you can take it to the next level as a carry okay so you must get an output in this way okay so in the microprocessor it will take from the 2 2 okay like 4 6 bd and then 6 7 okay 2 4 in this way it will take and it will show the output okay we'll see now what is the microprocessor program for writing program for this addition now here we have two segments one is called as data segment while writing any program it is common to have two segments one is called as data segment okay the other one is called as code segment in the data segment we will declare the input variables and the output variables whereas in the code segment we will be giving us giving the actual instruction what to be executed right now what is the objective to add to 32 bit numbers so since it is 32 bit numbers we are defining as a word okay so number one define word so first number is given here similarly number two define as word if it is in the case of 8 bit numbers we will type, we'll type it like a db last video we have seen like db right since it is a 8 bit numbers it is db it is a 32 bit number so we are taking it as a dw so two 32 bit numbers we have taken number one and number two 
after that we are having the result result is again it is a defining in the terms of word okay and then the, with this data ends with this data ends data segment is over next coming to code segment in the code segment this is a common term which you are going to write it for all the programs like assume cs as the code and ds as the data and then first one we are main what is main you are declaring like main is move ax comma data data is to be moved to the accumulator register okay in microprocessor everything should be stored in the memory before moving on to the any sort of registers okay so since we cannot do any operations in the main memory accumulator we are moving it to sub registers and then doing the operations okay after that code starts from the code segment here we will have we need to add 232 bit numbers but to store 232 bit numbers we do not have a 32 bit register in the case of the 8086 microprocessor we have only maximum of 16 bit register so what we will do here so see here we have two 32 bit numbers correct so we will divide this 5678 and cdefh this as one segment and we will divide this as the other segment we will first add this 5678 with cdefh and then we will add this two and then we will get it into the registers sorry we will get it into the registers so now the command is like first we will move first number to ax register moving the first number to the ax register then moving the second number to the bx register okay so default since we have what is the first number here first number is 5678 what is the second number cd efh that is second number we are moving that to ax and bx registers so the command for adding two numbers is simple add ax comma bx and then your result will be in the ax again that you are moving it in keeping it in the result as a result as a register and then now what you are going to do you are going to take the second number okay you are going to secure, take the second number and if there is any carry because since here we are as we seen we do not have carry so no problem once if suppose any carry is there in these two numbers it has to be carry forward to the next segment and if there is carry in this it will be there it should be stored in the flag register carry flag register okay so after, for that i am using this move ax number one plus two move bx number two plus two then now i am adding these two using the adc command with this adc command i will be able to add with carry carry also will get added and the result will be stored and the result will be stored now last command is int 21 it is an interrupt command in 21 with this interrupt this interrupt 21 is a common command which will be used for almost all the programs with this interrupt command your program will get end so code ends and then end main so we have started with main open main and then we are ending it to the main and then we have started with the code segment so we are ending with the code ends okay with this we are completing the programming part okay this is the programming part now we will take it to the executor executing part okay now what we will do as we seen in the last class you have I, I hope that you have all installed the dos box installer with the last class instructions now what we will do we will directly move on to the dos box okay what is the first command m o u e n t mount c c colon slash enter now what is the next command now what is the next command yes it is c colon okay after this what will be the next command we are going to move to the 8086 folder cd 8086 now it is into the 8086 folder after this what we have to do we have to see already i have written a program for this okay we will see that program first Ed edit we'll go to the edit okay file open so i have made it like add 32 i have made already the program the same program what we have explained here explained there it is there 
clearly here like we are going to take two numbers okay number one number two and the result will be stored in result will be stored here as as the word define word here result also will be stored here and then program will code ends end main as we have described already so now we will save this we will save this and then we will exit from this window now we will execute and see masm add 32 dot asm what will be the next command we need to link since we they don't have any errors zero warning errors zero severe errors so we will now link it link add 32 dot obj and then put enter okay then we need to debug correct what is the command i can just go with dot exe if it is a 8 bit now it is since, since it is 32 bit we will go with the debug instruction directly debug add 32 dot exe clear now we have got it we will first see the program okay if you put u you can see where is your program we need to find out the address of the interrupt so it starts with 000 okay and then you can see here you can see the int int i cannot move the scroll okay you can see here int will be there where is the int you can see what is the int 21 is the interrupt last command right where is it it is in address 002a so we need to check from 000 to 002a correct so get g is get get is equal to 0000 to 00 what is that to a okay to a enter you it has fetched all the values in the registers now we will see the output for that you need to press d d 0000 you press you will get the output here now i will show you the actual output what we have got it here is the program here is the program okay we will see here see now i told you that it will read from the last okay so here you can see that 34 and then 12 you can you must read like this 34 12 78 56 is the first input you can see here 34 12 78 56 so here we have got the first input next input is 12 ab ef cd so you can see here 12 ab ef cd so with this our two inputs has got over now what will be the output b you can see here output what is the output here bd 46 okay it is 46 bd 672401 correct so from here you can see here what is this 46 bd 672401000 so now we can conclude that we got the output so first four are one input second four are next input the last eight are your outputs okay eight combinations are your output last one is carry if you give the input see you can try it out with this input 
this this number one number two if you can give then you not